So this weekend was Tenet's opening weekend. Um, and let's just say things are not looking good for Wonder Woman and Doom when it comes to not getting delayed. Hi guys, it's me, Allie. If you guys have been subscribing, welcome back. If you are totally new and have no idea who I am, welcome. <laughs> Um, today we're gonna do something different when it comes to my videos, you know, I always like to rant and react to stuff But today we're actually gonna talk some numbers. This video is gonna be mostly about um, Is Wonder Woman getting delayed? Is Dune getting delayed? Is Black Widow getting delayed? Um, and it all depends on these two movies. So it's gonna be uh, depending on Tenet and depending on Mulan and let's just say, <laughs> things are not looking good for both of them. But one is more complicated than the other. But here I am to explain, you know, the basics of the box office. So let's get into the basics, right? Um, why is this important? Why is it important for to keep an eye on Tenet for Wonder Woman and Dune? Um, because they're from the same company. Both are Warner Brothers. Um, and... Warner Brothers wanted to see how Tenet was going to do because they kind of have, if not, Wonder Woman has a little bit more demand than Tenet, but Tenet is still high. It would have been really high. People were looking forward to it. And it all it's all thanks to Inception, honestly. But we'll get to that in a bit. So before we get into it, I just want to remind everyone, in case you guys forgot, we're in a pandemic and things are weird. It's hard to analyze stuff. It's hard to know what the right answer is until you actually get the results back. And, you know, I'm going to give it to Christopher Nolan. He was like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll risk it. I'll be, I want my movie to be the first in movie theaters and and I, especially in movie theaters because i want everyone to experience it there and this movie was made for the movie theater experience um did it work no <laughs> um sadly and um you know uh again it's all based on the pandemic uh, it's all based on the fact that not every movie theater is open and this includes new york san francisco la which are the most important you know when it comes to to selling tickets and the demand for the movie theaters are high in all those three places there are people who traveled and and came back the next day there's people who who went on road trips in order to just go to a movie theater for tenant um but it wasn't enough sadly um so let's talk numbers now because box office as sad as this whole thing is that they're still interesting to look at and analyze. So right now we're gonna look at tenant, tenant opening weekend. So domestically is the problem. Uh, internationally it made $132 million, which is not bad. Um, but when it comes to domestic box office, it made 20.2. Um, how bad is it? <laughs> I'll explain. The, I'm gonna compare this to Birds of Prey. Um, Birds of Prey was considered a box office failure even though the budget was $80 million. Um, so it barely broke even, barely. Um, so it made $33 million on its opening weekend and it was considered a failure. It, it was considered, you know, it was going to be hard to break even. It was, everyone just started freaking out. So when you see a film like Tenet, Tenet's budget is actually around 200 250 million dollars so the way this works is that in order to make its money back um they don't just have to make its budget back they have to make its marketing campaign its ad campaign in this case a first and second ad campaign back which doubles its budget so in honest like in all honesty um they need to make 500 million to break even um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, Birds of Prey, um, made 200, barely 250 million, I think way less than 250 million. Um, so in this case, since it's tenant, the demand is a little bit higher. People are expecting it to make around $300 million. So 
depends on what happens with New York and LA and San Francisco, it will probably not break even, you know? Um, they, they it Something needs to happen in all those three places in order to, to get to that point. But right now, things are not looking good. Now, um, I want to compare it to Inception to have an idea of if we were not in a pandemic, what could have happened? You know, um, opening weekend for Inception was actually $62 million. The only difference is we're now, we now know what we're getting. You know, um, when this opened, this was Christopher Nolan messing with your mind kind of movie everyone wanted to see. Um, yeah, it was 62 million, but the fact that it was so good, people started talking, people were saying this movie is so good. People were like, I need to watch it again. In order to get this, you know, this is these are movies that people want to see again and again and again, which at the very end, it led to having $833 million. That's less than 200 million in order to have a billion, you know, a box office number. Um, now Tenet, Tenet, I feel that the demand would have been the same because the difference is in Inception, you had Leonardo DiCaprio and this, in this case, you have John David Washington and Robert Pattinson, which are amazing actors. Um, but at the end of the day, the reality is not everyone knows them as, everyone knows Leonardo DiCaprio. So in this case, it's just, the demand is high because of the film itself, which could have made John David Washington a very, very much appreciated, more appreciative actor, right? Um, because he's good, he's great. He was good in Blackman. And then now we have Robert Pattinson doing the Batman. You know, people would have loved him now, would have been more excited for him. Um, but I, I feel like the demand would have been the exact same I would have expected around 700 million to 800 million in pre-pandemic times. I remember when the teaser came out, the very first teaser, people were like, whoa, Inception part two? I'm excited. I was excited. The editing of the teaser was exciting. Um, so it kind of sucks. It really does because I haven't seen it. Um, but even with mixed reviews, people still want to go. You know, I've, I've read mixed reviews about it. Um, people don't want to go to the movie theater. And this is a movie that you, it would require you to watch it more than once in order to understand it. There's people who have seen it three times and still are trying to understand it, right? But people don't want to risk their lives um, for, for a film, sadly, well, not sadly, but sadly uh, towards the fact that this is what we're dealing with, right? A pandemic. So I had a lot of people, um, especially in Dune's reaction video um, on Twitter, I've been saying Tenet is the key to knowing whether Wonder Woman 84 and Dune are going to get delayed. And honestly, I kind of, I, I kind of had an idea it was going to happen. Um, and until I got that number for Tenet and after seeing that number, they're definitely going to move a uh, Wonder Woman 84. Yesterday, rumors came out that that's what they're looking into right now. Wonder Woman 84 being delayed either November, or December. Now, here's the thing. If they move Wonder Woman, they will move Dune. Wonder Woman needs its own spotlight for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is not going to throw in two films at the very same time because they don't want people choosing whether or not I want to watch Dune or I want to watch Wonder Woman, you know? So it will definitely get delayed as well, Dune. Um, my guess is Wonder Woman will move to December and then Dune will move to sometime uh, February, spring 2021, maybe. So in order to understand Wonder Woman, here's the thing. People argued that they should not delay any movies because we don't really know when this pandemic is going to be done. Um, my answer to this is 20.2 million. You know, we, Warner Brothers cannot be releasing films in the movie theater and keep losing money. They need to make its money back. You know, especially with Wonder Woman 84. Look, I'm going to compare. 
to 2017 and consider this the demand is higher for wonder woman 84 because we already know what we're getting and it's in the 80s we love gal gadot um you know we have cheetah now we have pedro pascal that has been you know known for mandalorian so the opening weekend for wonder woman was 103 million dollars uh its total 821 million was this close to making a billion dollars less than 200 as well so we're kind of looking at the very same situation as tenet is tenet's demand as high as wonder woman no no but still we're in a pandemic and people are not really thinking about you know um i'll go watch wonder woman even if i die you know what i mean so that's how people are thinking. People don't want to go to the movie theaters right now um, and risk it. If it does better than Tenet, it might be by $10 million more, which is not enough. You know, when you're looking at $103 million for its opening weekend, there's no way that they could even, you know, $50 million the first weekend, even though the budget is $200 million for the budget for, for Wonder Woman 84. So it's kind of the same deal as Tenet if you're, if you're asking me. I think it, the fan base is what makes it a little bit different. So, and then Dune. Dune, obviously, after the trailer that released yesterday, people are hyped. People are hyped. Um, they, they have a good feeling about this one because they, some are like 1984s, uh, Dune is, terrible it's the worst movie i've ever seen that was i'm quoting grace randolph in that one and people even commented on my video do not call uh, uh, doing a reboot because it's, it's just bad or whatever so people are actually excited for what they saw yesterday um even though the trailer only thing i didn't like about it was the music choice but whatever that was talked about yesterday it's so that's another film that needs to make its money back. So there's, we can't, like, Warner Brothers cannot risk not delaying the movie because we want, don't want it delayed. You know, it's a business. It's a business. And in order to, for Warner Brothers to keep giving us more Wonder Woman, more Dune, Dune like movies, I'm trusting them, you know, I, I called it yesterday, um, I've called it um, a few weeks, people were saying, no, it's not gonna happen, like, it's, it's gonna happen. Now we're gonna jump to a very different studio, which is Disney, right? Um, we have Disney, we have Mulan and Black Widow. Mulan, um, I have a source here, Screen Rant saying it made 33 million on its Labor Day weekend in Disney Plus. That is charging people $30 in order to watch it at home. 33 million for this movie. Not good. Um, if the source is correct, I've only seen it in Screen Rant. Um, even if it's that's not the number, apparently the numbers are not as good. Um, so I feel that VOD is out of the question or Disney plus is out of this, the question for Black Widow. Um, Disney is definitely, definitely looking into these numbers in order to decide Black Widow's fate. Um, <laughs> RIP. So they're real, they're actually looking into these numbers, how well Mulan does. Um, obviously, it's a very different fan base. You have, you know, people who love the Disney movies, people who love the Marvel movies. So it's in a way, it's kind of um, hard to determine whether or not this would work for Black Widow or not, uh, comparing it to Mulan. But at the same time, when you have a number of as low as 33 million, when, you know, the, the, the Aladdin made a billion dollars and it was kind of sort of the same thing, except, you know, there's no music, it was, it's a little bit different. And I think what made Mulan get those low numbers is not even the film itself. It's, I feel that it's Disney's fault for announcing that in December, people are gonna, you know, it's not gonna be 
um, you're not gonna have to pay for the movie. It's gonna be completely free in December. You just have to wait a few months. I heard that and I said, you know what? I would rather save those $30 and wait until December. I don't wanna watch it that badly. So I think that is the main issue with it. So what do I think they're going to do with Black Widow? If I had to call it, they're gonna delay it again. Um, I don't think they're gonna put it in Disney Plus um, because if those are the numbers, I don't... I was for the idea of renting the movie, um, $30, because I just thought to myself, if it's a family movie, right? It's a family movie, you're charging $30 for a rental. It's the same thing as going with your family to, uh, to watch it in the movie theater. If anything, it's cheaper, right? If a family of four paying $30, it's less than $10 a ticket. I would have been all for that, you know? Have the movie experience, the movie theater experience at your house, your own house. So it's just, it's a really complicated situation. I think it's gonna get delayed to next year maybe, um, unless Disney changes its strategy for, um, for the release of, of Disney Plus. So this was kind of my way to explain in the most basic way what is happening with the box office um, and why it's going to be delayed. If I had to get into numbers, percentages and everything, uh, this would have been a way longer video. So what do you guys think? Um, do you guys agree that it should be delayed? Do you guys not agree? Give me a reason why you don't agree and then we'll talk. So yeah comment subscribe like let me know what you think are you excited for a uh, wonder woman have you seen tenet have you seen milan are the 30 dollars worth it would you pay 30 dollars? you know just anything you know just comment below we'll talk let's talk all right guys i'll see you on my next video